Hey guys, I got sent over a mini PC from Firebat to do a little box opening, see what we get with this, and also see how well it really works in real world usage. So I'm gonna get it opened up, we'll see what we get, and then I'm going to install everything that I use on a daily basis and see how well it works. So let's get started. Have our user guide. I know what we have there. Let's we'll see what we have here first. And we have our power cord. It's an HDMI cord. Our other part to our power cord. This will plug in right here. Just like so. And that will plug into the little mini PC. It's a USB C port. Have our stand and now drum roll please <laughs> just kidding now we have our mini PC cool check that out y'all that is cool plenty of ventilation here on the bottom have our ports on the front and the back you can go something like that right there if you wanted to stand it up pretty slick Let's take a look and see what kind of ports we have here. Okay, we have our power button here, 3.5 millimeter audio jack, two USB-A 3.2 ports, and a 4.0 USB-C port, and an RGB control. This mini PC has RGB lights in it. Now let's flip it around and check out the back. Okay, we have a USB-C in two 2.5 gigabyte LAN ports. We have a HDMI port and a DP port. And over here we have two USB 2.0 Type-A ports. And a really good size fan to keep this thing cool. I'm going to put some of the specs up here now for you to look at while I'm uh, getting this thing hooked up. Okay, I've got everything hooked up. Uh, we'll plug it in right here on top of the desk and uh, turn it on. Ooh, cool. The RGB lights here. Let's see if I can give you a better visual here. And then off. That's neat. Have our monitors firing up. Let me move the camera over there. One thing I didn't plug in that I just now remembered is our mouse and keyboard. I have wireless, so we're gonna plug those in to the back of our little mini PC here. Okay, I see our cursor moving around here. See if we have a, yeah, we have a keyboard too. So we're ready to go. And this is basically going to be setting up windows here. So I'm going to skip ahead and uh, we'll go from there. If something different comes up, I'll turn the camera back on. Okay, I wanted to look at something real quick. We're going to dive a lot deeper into this, but I want you to look real close right here. It's an input volume. This is our microphone. Um, I do not have a microphone plugged into this mini PC. I can tap lightly on it and watch, watch. And I cannot find anything on the product page that mentions a microphone. So apparently it does have a built-in microphone. Just an FYI. Audio, allow apps and windows to use this device as audio. Don't allow 
check one, two. The audio is now turned off. It's running through the microphone. Make sure our speakers are still working. It's running through my monitor speakers at the moment. I'm gonna hook up the uh, 3.5 millimeter jack onto the back of my mini PC so we can have some decent sound. But in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and check out some of the properties here in case you're interested. The system, you see that we're running the AMD Ryzen 7 8745HS with Radeon 780M graphics, 3.80 gigahertz. Installed RAM, 32 gigabytes. It is running Windows 11 Home Edition. Disk management, we are running a one terabyte hard drive here. I'm running one 4K monitor and one 1080 monitor. We'll be running some more tests on this. But for now, I'm going to just use it and see how well it works. So far, it is working really good. I've installed my video editing software and my graphics editing software. So that's pretty much all I'm going to install for now. I just want to see how it compares to my desktop. And so far, it's uh, very impressive. Okay, I have downloaded Cinebench R23 as well as HW Monitor. HW Monitor is going to monitor our temperatures as well as our core speeds. The Cinebench is going to do a CPU test. We're going to go ahead and run this first test on the single core 30 minute test stability. Let's get started. I will fast forward it through the process just in case it takes a little too long. Sit back and enjoy. Okay, our single core CPU test has completed. See what it is right there. Now we're going to run the multi-core CPU test. Okay, it finished up finally. Well, anywhere, there are our test results right there. So we are ranked about fourth here. Okay, y'all, I have got three different games here. Uh, these are all the free versions. I don't know how to play them. But uh, we're going to try them out and see how well this mini PC will handle it. Let's get started. Okay, we're gonna try a different game now. I played that flight simulator game pretty good. And the PC could handle it. I just wasn't very good. Okay, our last little test. I don't I heard of this game, but I have never played it.
what do y'all think about this mini PC from Firebat? Uh, right here it sits, still hooked up. Running dual monitors, one 4K, 1080. Um, also, I went ahead and did some videoing on my phone, and it does 8K video, and I really didn't think this thing would handle it, but it did. Now, I'm not going to say it was super fast and everything. Um, it was sufficient. We'll put it that way. I'm very pleased with it. Editing 8K video, that's, that's a lot of uh, rendering files right there. I would say it will handle pretty much any kind of video editing you need to do, unless you get into some real technical stuff, you know, the high-end editing. But for basic video editing, it did excellent. I have no complaints whatsoever. It played the games that I downloaded. Now, granted, I am not a gamer, so I don't know what to expect. I just know on old computers back many years ago, they would kind of stutter. And this had no issues at all playing the games that I played. So it worked great. The sign bench results were really good. Didn't see any problems there. Um, it's done all the video editing I wanted to do. It's played games that I normally wouldn't do. I just did just to see how it would do. No problems whatsoever. It has definitely found a home on top of my desk over here. You can mount it on the back of a monitor if you'd like. It's definitely a thumbs up. I like it. If you'd like to get one of these for yourself, I will put a link down in the description where you can order yours today. Also, if you got any value at all out of this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so yet. I would appreciate it. I am an Amazon associate, so any qualifying purchases that you may make through any of my Amazon links, I will receive a small commission from. Thanks for watching.